So I wanted to give you an update as things are moving rapidly and changing rapidly. The, this is continuing the politics of medicinals. So if you haven't seen any other videos, this one won't make much sense about the censorship. So if you have questions as you're watching this, you should watch the others in that, in that playlist. So what happened was Etsy took my store down. I since went down a rabbit hole of learning about all the new prohibited items across all social media platforms, selling platforms, plug-in platforms, all of that. But it also includes payment providers. And you need to know this because as you start trying to find other ways to get your medicinals, and you've seen this, if you use any of the vendors that are on my website that have been vetted, they have gone down and come back up and gone down and come back up because their payment providers are now refusing to cover the processing of your payments. So the worst offender right now is PayPal. And that sucks because so many of you that don't have bank accounts, can't get a bank account, don't want a bank account, you rely heavily on PayPal. Well, now PayPal has extended their list of prohibited items. So people that use PayPal or take PayPal, they're getting shut down either for straight up purchasing this right there or any items made with it or the natural pain killing green leaf plant and also things like your stimulants like Kana and stuff like that. So the medicines that you are have been purchasing PayPal will no longer support, and they've gone through this takedown spree of just refusing to process them. It's so bad that even in the prepper community, they if they have stores of things that they help people prep with for natural disasters and stuff, they've lost them as a payment provider. Some of them have gone to bat and spent weeks and weeks and weeks dealing with PayPal but they wound up having to remove items from their store to be able to continue to use PayPal so that the other items could stay and people could purchase those. I'm taking a different route and I'm going to have to bypass all that because I, I don't have any other things to sell. The, I believe in this item right here and that's what I deal in. So I have no choice. Also, let me tell you what you're gonna need to do in the future for you to continue to get the things that you wanna get if you don't have a bank account and don't want one. It's so bad that you know that I have the buy me a coffee feature. So if you don't wanna become a, pay, a regular patron, you just would like to give me a, a single donation. I use buy me a coffee and it's a wonderful platform. I, in, I now really believe in them even more. I spoke with the president of the company and they went through this and they did everything they could. They worked for months with PayPal because some of their creators that they support and process one-time donations for do deal in some of these prohibited items. And they went to bat for us and ultimately could not get PayPal to come around. They could have kicked all of us off their platform. Instead, they went the route of siding with the creators and kicked PayPal to the curb. So now my donations have dropped off because a lot of people, they only have PayPal and buy me a coffee no longer processes or deals with donations through PayPal because they chose to side with us. That is the first time I've seen a corporation do that. So I'm very grateful. I told him so, and I, I will be behind that company. So if you wanna do a don't, or whatever, support me, whatever you can do it through do that. So far, I'm still okay with Patreon and that's cool. And I appreciate it. I know a lot of you are not happy with Patreon, but right now I'm still on Patreon. And I want you to know if you are a patron, we do these Zoom meetings every uh, the first and second Saturday. And I'm about to include the third Saturday now. I won't be able to attend it, but I'll open the, the room for all of you guys because a lot of you are really forming good connections and, and making friends there and creating community there. I'm also going to be doing our solstice celebration every winter solstice and summer solstice. And the winter one's coming up in a week, but it's sold out. The summer one for 2022, we're going to Canada. If that's something you would like to be involved in and be a part of, I won't be advertising that on the website like I normally do and selling tickets like I normally do because it's a very unique situation. We're going to a very ancient, old 
ceremonial site in Canada. And we have to be very careful about who comes. So I'm not just opening up to the public. I'll be pulling from my patrons for that trip. We're taking a whole crew. We're doing a documentary and everything. It's going to be a pretty big deal. It's important. Anyway, I got off track. I'm sorry. Lots going on. I'm building my store because Etsy took me off their platform. My store opens. The hopeful date is January 14th, 2022. Every time I open it, it sells out in two days. That's normal. If you want to be notified about all the updates and, uh, and goings on or when it opens or whatever each month, go to uh, Amanita amanitadreamer.net.net to get more info. If you want to go directly to the store, it is going to be mushingvoice.com. Depending on when you see this, it it's you can click on it and you'll get a website, but right now it's under construction. Bless her heart, the woman that's working on it, she's working pretty hard to try to get this done before the holiday we close for the holidays. If she doesn't, then it'll be after January 5th ish. What are you going to do if you don't have a bank account and you don't and you can't use PayPal because I can't take PayPal. So we're all going to have to be nimble and keep adjusting and changing and keeping up with what we have to do. It's going to cost us more time or energy or money. I'm going to take the brunt of the cost to do this the only way I know how. And that is I have to incorporate. I have to get an attorney. I have to start a business. I have to get a business license. I have to get an accountant. I have to get insurance. Got the domain name. Get a business bank account. Then I can process payments by myself as my own entity with a merchant account with my bank. Also going to be expensive. So all of this is going to be about $1,200 plus about $1,500 to build the store. I'm borrowing the money. This is a leap of faith. I believe in what I'm doing. I'm not asking you for money. I'm going to try to figure this out without asking or doing a GoFundMe. I believe in this. It's, the mushroom has never steered me wrong. The mushroom voice from this one and the blue one. Everything I've done has been a leap of faith and listening to that guidance and that voice. And everything has worked out. I believe this is going to work out. I believe in us and I believe in what we're doing. So I'm, I'm going to do this. I feel good about it. Hopefully we'll come out the other side of this thing and I'll be opening my store mid-January. What are you going to do if you cannot do that? The PayPal situation or the Venmo thing? One is you can go on and get yourself a prepaid Visa or MasterCard so that you can get things from not only from me, but my vendors on my site that sell the other things that you need in your natural medicinal arsenal. I mean, all of us are having to move to these kinds of payments. I So far right now, I don't have a vendor on there for the green powdered painkiller. Someone write what that is in the comment section if it's not already there so other people will know. I'm working on getting one. If you have one that you deeply trust, let me know and I will reach out to them and see if they want to become a vendor on my site. So all of my vendors have had to go through this, getting shut down and then having to work out all this stuff and get all their ducks in a row the same way I have. And it takes time, but, but gratefully, gladly, hopefully. Now we are all dependable. We are not going anywhere. We are going to be your reliable, trusted sources, not only for the items themselves, but hopefully I will be continuing to be a good source of education and information about those things. Right now, my website, amniadreamer.net, is only about this mushroom, but I hope to start including education on these alternative medicines. There's only three or four of them. Just give me time. I'm working on it. Lots to do. If you cannot get a prepaid card, yes, you're going to have to pay the fee, the maintenance fee. There, there's really no way around this now. I know PayPal and Venmo made it easy, but this is just the way it's going to have to be moving forward. So if you can't do that, you're going to have to do cryptocurrency. I know that sucks. I know you are intimidated by it if you don't have it. It's really not that hard. I might have to make a tutorial if I can at some point for you. There are plenty out there. It is just my recommendation that I have found that's the easiest if you're on a, a mobile is Trust Wallet. You download it and then you're going to have to link it up to some kind of a payment method which potentially, I guess, could be 
uh, PayPal, you could fund it with PayPal. And then Bitcoin is the obvious contender for the one that everyone across the board can take and that I, I'm pretty sure my vendors take. I just don't know yet how I'm going to take that because there's no streamlined way to do it. And when I open my store and it sells out in 48 hours, it's a flurry of orders, 120 of them last time. I'm not going to be able to manually handle that many orders, especially crypto. So I'm still looking at talking to the person building my store if there's a way to streamline uh, that kind of a payment. If there isn't yet, I'm sure somebody's building one. That, that's got to be a thing. So just stay tuned on that. Other than that, I think that's probably the only thing we're going to be able to do. Either open yourself a bank account and get a debit card that's processed through Visa and MasterCard. Get yourself an American Express card. If you don't have the credit or you don't want to get those things, get a prepaid and be ready to go. I am not going to be taking PayPal or Venmo because I can't, because they will censor me. So if you don't know why, watch the other videos in this playlist. I hope this has been educational and has helped you be ready and be prepared. If the other people that sell the things that you like, that you purchase, have not done this yet, it's coming. Warn them, let them know to get ahead of it and to start making their plans and watch the other video that came before this one in the playlist about all of the items on the prohibited items list now that are going to be taken down. If they haven't been taken down yet, it's about to happen. So you can watch that video. I love you, beautiful people. I'm not negative. I'm not down about this. I'm very excited about it. Everything is just moving forward. This is more and more of us just learning where we need to be to continue to be positive, hopeful, manifesting beautiful things, working with our energy, working with the entheogenic side of all of this, working with nature, working with the beauty, working with the love, working with each other, networking and staying on the good side of the good things and the earth. I love you. Later. <laughs>